it seems weird sort of starting a blog right from the midway point of my build. It would have been cool to show the shaping of the wing, the fiberglassing, and sort of the just the design making it. I just wanted to blog my work, but it's been so hard because, well, doing work and running the camera at the same time, it's quite hard. And what I've just figured out too is you see all these other guys do pretty cool shop videos, but it's a lot of work to find cool camera angles and set it up. Pretty well, all I've been using was a vise here and a vise there. It's really hard to work with your hands and hold a camera. So I've been, bear with me here as it sits in the vise and I work. I can tap this piece, got some stock stainless screws, bolts, and yeah. So, line these up, drill them out, we're off from there. I don't have a drill press here, so I'm just kind of measuring it out. I'm going to drill from both sides, me in the center. I am so thrilled how this is going together. The tap worked really well, and the fuselage bar is on nice and square. I'm really happy with that. Now we gotta go do some fiberglass. There's this gap here between the fuselage and the wing. All I need to do is fill that with resin and fiberglass, and then I'll have a nice seamless fit to the wing. Same with the front here. Just uh, not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Just gotta wing it. I'm using paraffin wax to wax up the fuselage so when I cast the gap, the resin doesn't stick to the fuselage. I find with fiberglassing is 99% of the work is all prep work. The actual fiberglassing itself isn't very hard, but you have to just make sure everything's going to be in place and how you want it to be for your finished result. Right now, I'm just filling up one of the sides and giving it some support so when I fill the gap, it uh, doesn't all come pouring out. I pre-cut out all the material I think I'm going to need, and then I dry fit it onto my project. It'll stay in there until I soak with the resin. So before I start to mix and pour resin, I'm going to show you my breathing system that I have set up so I don't breathe in any of the fumes, because these fumes are not the greatest things to breathe in, and they're pretty stinky. Um, I have this regular mass that I fitted with a medical tube that then plums up over to a 12 volt exhaust fan for boats, it's a blower motor, but this time it's blowing fresh air into my mass from the outside. And this is my exhaust fan, taking all those nasty fumes and ditching them out the window. Let's get started! Sweet. Ooh, look at that. 
Nice and hard. Beauty. Oh yeah, that turned out really nice. Hopefully this will uh, pop off. Didn't really put too thick a layer on there. Well, it's still a little bit soft, but definitely hard. That's what she said. <laughs> the front half of the fuselage molded very nicely to the front here. I'm just thrilled how well it worked. I oh, hit the camera. Look at that, eh? Appreciably thrilled. Beautiful. Now that I molded the seat for the fuselage here to bolt through, now I'm just going to take the angle grinder and clean it up a little bit. It's, uh, it's got a little excess resin everywhere. I can probably even uh, peel it off here. Oh, yeah, there comes a little bit. Oh, it's Love it when a project comes together. This is looking sick. Tune in next time for milling the tail section. It's going to be even more sick.